Yeah, the thing I, was, I, I liked about um, Jamal, I, I was able to keep his minutes down, which is why the development of uh, Emmanuel and Terrence is so important to our team. Um, uh, Jamal's a lot better at 30, 31 minutes than he is at 37, 38, because he's our point of attack on defense. And, you know, we depend on his ball pressure a lot. Um, uh, I've got to find a way to get Marcus's minutes down. But again, uh, I don't want to keep harping on this, but the development of Emmanuel and Terrence helps us to keep uh, everybody uh, fresh at the end of games. Um, one of the reasons why Jamal was so good is we made a conscious effort to substitute him during timeouts. So I think there's 12.39 on the clock. If you went back and looked at the film, we took him out and let him rest through the timeout and put him in after that. Uh, was it the UCF or Cincinnati game where he got in foul trouble? Um, was that – that might have been UCF. He got in foul trouble, uh, and that helped limit his minutes, but he was really good. I, I told him I was going to try to hold him out to the under three – but Terrence and uh, Emmanuel were doing a good job. So we, we were able to hold him out even longer. But um, he's our point of attack on defense, <clears throat> you know, and he's he's had two really good games. Now the key is to be consistent. If I can follow up on uh, questions about Jamal and your trust with having the ball in his hands during clutch moments, not only that, his confidence to be able to make plays. Not many players have the confidence to want the ball and want to take that shot. Kind of, kind of speak on both things about that uh, for Jamal. Um, you know, one, one of the things that Jamal struggled with uh, last year and this year is I don't ever give him a free passing uh, practice. The better Jamal practices, the better he plays in games. That includes game day shoot around. That includes the day before the game. You know, Jamal's one of those earning guys. When he when he practices the right way, um, and I make sure he does, that's when he has his best games. You know, when he's when he's trying to cut corners or uh he loses interest or his concentration and focus isn't what it needs to be, uh that that tells me he thinks he's going to play good without earning it. And that's not the way it works. Um, maybe Michael Jordan could. I, I doubt he did. Maybe Kareem could. And I, but he, I, I'm, I've yet to coach a Kareem or Michael Jordan. So the guys I'm coaching, you, you better practice the right way so you can earn your earn the right to play well in games. And and, and that's, that's when Jamal's at his best. When you see him really playing well, that means that he's really practiced well. <laughs> 